So now we know that uh, gives free energy, delta G, is equal to our enthalpy reaction, delta H minus T delta S, the Kelvin temperature times the uh, entropy of the system. We know that um, a negative delta G is a spontaneous process. Now, positive delta G is not spontaneous in that direction. The reverse direction would be negative and spontaneous. Then where we're at equilibrium, delta G is zero. So delta G is trying to slide downhill to its lowest energy, zero, which will be our equilibrium position. So our reactions are moving toward equilibrium. That's their goal is equilibrium. So we're just going to look at a, a simple process now using this equation to figure out uh, equilibrium temperatures. So at uh, equilibrium, our delta G is zero. So we got our delta H minus T delta S is zero. We rearrange it, get our delta H equals T delta S. Or we can have our um, T is delta H over delta S. So this is at equilibrium. So at boiling point or freezing point, um, these are the equilibrium temperatures uh, between uh, boiling point between the uh, liquid and the uh, gas phase. If it's a normal boiling point, that's specifically at one atmosphere of pressure. Uh, and then melting point, that's the equilibrium temperature between the solid and the liquid. We can also use this to find equilibrium temperatures for reactions, also chemical reactions. Uh, but let's look, look at the uh, first vaporization, the nitric acid and vaporizing to the gas phase. So we can look up our uh, enthalpy of this process, which is a 40.2 kilojoules. Our entropy is 100. 11.3 joules per Kelvin. And the uh, superscript um, is to show that it's at the standard states. So standard states would be one atmosphere of pressure, uh, 298 Kelvin, um, and for any concentrations, one molarity of concentration. So we're looking for the boiling point. The boiling point is the equilibrium temperature between our liquid in our gas at one atmosphere pressure. So we can use this equation. We just have to make sure our units are matching. Our entropy is generally uh, joules per Kelvin and our enthalpy is generally kilojoules. So we have to make sure our units are matching. So I'm going to convert kilojoules into joules. So I'm doing our enthalpy divided by entropy. So our 40.2 kilojoules become 40,200 joules divided by the 111.3 joules per Kelvin, and we end up with 361 Kelvin for our boiling point for nitric acid, and uh, that's 88 degrees Celsius. So let's try this a uh, different direction. So in this case, we're given our enthalpy of vaporization and our boiling point. What is our entropy of vaporization? So our boiling point was given to us in Celsius. We need it in Kelvin, so I convert it to Kelvin. Then we're just going to solve this equation for delta S. So that'll end up being delta H over T. So we need our delta H in joules, so 52.6 kilojoules, 52,600 joules, divided by the temperature in Kelvin, 56.6. And we end up with 147.5 joules per Kelvin for this um, entropy of vaporization. 